Hello and welcome. I'm Raymond Modulin. Looks like you guys drew the short straw again and get me for another uh, two-hour session on uh, that does count for continuing education. Today we are going to be talking about working with real estate investors and investor strategies. All right, so that is the topic that we are going to be covering and we're going to go through several topics. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, introduction and why you guys would want to work with investors. We're going to go an overview real quick of the different type of investment properties, both commercial and residential. We're going to talk about short and long-term strategies for acquisition that you guys need to understand. We're going to talk about some of the financial factors that influence the investor's decision. We're going to talk about financing options, including conventional loans, commercial loans, private money, hard money, the difference between those two. We're going to talk about tips for locating some properties for your investors. Then actually, probably one of the first things we're going to should have talked about was the pros and the cons for working with an investor. What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? How do you weigh them? Is it worth it? Is it not? We're going to talk about ethical duties when working with your investor clients. Um, I've pulled a couple of violations from throughout the United States of agents that have worked with investors um, off the NAR's website. So we're going to talk a little bit about those. And then we're going to talk a little bit about activities and scenarios for real world context. And then we're going to wrap that up. All right. So before we begin, understand that unlike most owner occupied uh, buyers, investors enter the market to make money. Most home buyers would like this word called equity if they can get it. Investors actually are looking to make money. So you've got to learn what motivates the investor and what the criteria is. Now, the downside is the criteria may be different for every investor. So you're going to have to be in a great position to understand just about all of it so that you can help each one specifically with their needs. We're going to talk about how to examine their goals, what different strategies they have, what different properties they have. You know, it's possible that they have different strategies for different properties. We're going to talk about some of their financial consideration, and we're going to talk about your role as the finder of those properties, the negotiator of those properties, the closing of those properties, and all of the other items that you are going to need by dealing with this niche market called real estate investors. All right, so hang on, let's get started.